seven cameras looking into each goal. All of them are able to automatically track the ball and you kind of combine the tracking information from all the cameras together to know where the ball is in 3D. And so as the ball is within the goal area, uh, we know that as soon as the ball crosses the plane of the goal, that it Im immediately sends a signal to the referee's watch uh, within under a second. It's vibrating. You know? You really wear two watches during the game? Yes, we still have two watches. Two. But all, all four officials will wear this. People speak always about the financial implications, but that's for me uh, secondary. The most important thing is to make the right decisions. I'm very happy and I hope you will make the watch work a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we, we work well with the Premier League on a number of fronts and this is something that we've, we've, we've been unified on for, for many, many years. We, the Hawkeye, we've been testing this with the Premier League, we've been testing it at Wembley. Um, we had them in for a, for the Belgium game uh, in 2012. You know, we, 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 we've all been supportive of introducing the technology. It, it's an interesting kind of uh, tie-up, actually, that 150 years ago, a couple of miles away, a few English clubs got together and decided to try and you know write some laws for this game that has become this global phenomenon. And... Here we see, it's probably one of the biggest developments in the game in that 150 year period. We introduced a crossbar onto the goal, we introduced nets onto the goal to help make a decision about whether the ball had crossed the line. And, and this is, I guess this is the next evolution, this is the next step.